Hello good people, so African travel again and today we're going to explore Parkland. So Parkland is uh, it's very very close to Nairobi CBD and it's just next to Westlands to an extent where at some point you can't really tell where is Westlands and where is Parklands. So it's just next to each other. Uh, uh, I would consider Parklands like a, people would call it like a small Mumbai or a small day, New Delhi because this is where you have um, uh, most of the Indians, especially in Nairobi, the Indian community reside uh, around this area, the Parklands area. And uh, yeah, so just to let you know, Indians are uh, considered as the 44th tribe of Kenya. So as is, I will take you around, I will, I will fly the drone in some areas and we'll, I'll also take you guys to Diamond Plaza, which is a must visit, especially if you want to try one of the best uh, bajiers, uh, sugarcane juice. And it also a lot, has a lot of uh, Indian uh, cuisine. So follow me and... Uh
left is Aga Khan Hospital.
Masai Market. Small Mumbai. Chili food place, so if you're a fan of chili, I think Parklands is one of the best locations for you. So this place is known for the best bajias. So if you really if you're a fan of bajia, mm, the place is known to have the best bajias. I just bought some Mishikaki. Which one Mishikaki? Uh, chicken Mishikaki. At area. area. So guys, for the best bajias, for the best uh, Mishikakis, and for the best Indian food in Nairobi, this is the place to come. There's so many, so many mosque, uh, uh, what do you call them, temple around. You have so many, uh, uh, if you're Indian and you're planning to Kenya, you can never go without stepping by in this area. So, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'm really trying to avoid to sit down from the chairs. As you can see, the crowd is big. Ah, thank you. The crowd is very big around this place. So you gotta take care. So yeah, just try and avoid to sit in uh, public places. I'm just taking a takeaway as of now. Sugar cane juice, yes. some lemon and ginger. Yeah. Okay, so what's up? Thank you, guys. Uh, just took my patch. Come on, Karibi Sakako. Thank you, thank you. So the guy actually told me he died, he watches my video and he told me I'm a traveler, he's seen my video. So if you come here, yeah. Don't forget to visit Mashallah place. It's really nice. I will tell you when I trust the food. Thank you. So I get the sugar cane juice. What is narrow? Oops. Oops. Actually, it's really hard to do walk on the streets if you're not used to it. So they have everything from Indian uh, like if you want anything Indian this is the place to come if they have supermarkets uh, that specialize in Indian uh, foods variety textile banking everything 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 so I want to pay my parking I came to pay for parking and I uh, really loved uh, the parking payment system I didn't have to use cash I just said to go to my phone and pay using M-Pesa which is really really good so 
There's a lot of construction since more guys are setting up. Some new shops coming up. You can hear the noise. Let's tour the boat. This is the mall. I think they call it Sari. So guys, just to let you know, um, Indians, um, the 44th tribe of Kenya. So the Indians came with the train, the building the train. When the British were building the train, the actual guys on the ground who built the train were the Indians. That was in the uh, in the late 1800. That was uh, let's say it, from 18 from 1980 from 1880 1896 around that time. And uh, the train got to Nairobi at around 1901. 1901. So after building the train, most of them never lived, so never leave the country. 